E. Are there other damning, more significant pieces of that conversation you want to share with us right now? Certainly. Ms. Daly, I want to do a deeper dive into the circumstances surrounding the CBSA interview. You referenced an audio tape that you're going to provide uh, to the committee. I understand that there was a series of email exchanges as well that you've referenced. These email exchanges involve you and who else? Well, I have them here. Can I pull them out? And then I'd be more accurate. I want accurate. you to ultimately file all of those emails. Can you just identify the names of the people who are communicating with you? Okay. Well, the people communicating with me were my Director General, Lizanne Bulduk, and well, Tom von Schoenberg. Sorry? Tom von Schoenberg, my Senior Director. Yes. So those were the people involved in communicating. LaFleur. Mr. LaFleur. You are correct, Mr. Brock. Um, on December 7th, he sent me an invite for an optional um, in, uh, as a witness that to come. Initial piece of, co of communication? Yes, December 7th. Okay. In addition to the audio yeah. phone call, in addition to the emails, were there other phone calls that took place to get you at that particular interview that you did not take? Yeah, I was shocked How when many? I, I was like, I, I honestly don't know. Okay. Um, it, I, I was, sorry. Uh, you referenced some important details in that audio tape conversation between you and the DG. Are there other damning, more significant pieces of that conversation you want to share with us right now? Certainly. My apologies, I just have to grab it. This is uh, a conversation that Lizanne had with me. Um, she said, I'll seek clarity on the mandatory versus non-mandatory. But before she says that, she says, and I think we should, that you should feel comfortable having Tom or I present at that upcoming meeting. I think that would be a good idea for you as well. So I'll get back to Michelle. She's referring to Michelle LaFleur. I'll seek clarity on the mandatory versus non-mandatory, but like I said, I've received my own marching orders, and my feeling that he's probably received his own marching orders as well on his, on his side as well. So, by inference, she's misleading you as to whether there's a confusion between optional and non-optional. That's correct. Uh, right? She said, I'm, I wasn't told it was optional on the tape. You she's, clearly had no choice. I had no choice. You were compelled to attend. She told me I had no option. Okay. Let's talk about the interview itself. How long was it? 13 minutes. The interview... Oh, the, the interview with CBSA, you mean, right? Yes. It was three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Where did it take place? Virtually. Virtually. Did you get a break? Yes, I did. What was the tone like in that particular three and a half hour interview? It was hostile. Give me examples. Well... The um, Marie France Le Duc, who was the manager or the acting manager, started off being confused that I wasn't procurement. She would throw random emails at me and read from them and not let me see them and then say, Well, what do you mean you're not procurement? Okay. They had a narrative that you would not agree with. Is that fair to say? Yes, and I and I, I think they were literally confused sure. that I wasn't procurement. Sure. Was that meeting recorded? Was that meeting uh, transcribed? It was transcribed. Was it recorded? It would have been, yeah. Did you get a copy of that recording? No, I did not. Okay. Tell me about any, were there any issues with the transcription of that interview? At the end, and my sister attended with me because I had advised them I had just received cancer treatment six days before or five days before. And that's in writing, by the way. Okay. So they said to me, they, they said January 15th was the date of the meeting. And Cassandra Michon, who was the senior investigator on that, had very poor English or she was trying to transcribe something that I did not say at the end of the meeting. Can you verify that? Sure. Okay. Um, Can I move on? Sure. Do you have any information with respect to the allegations surrounding Min Doan deleting four years' worth of relevant emails? I know nothing about that. Nothing? Nothing at all. Okay. You must have heard that in the press. I heard it at uh, testimony. Okay. You've, you never dealt with Min Doan in your capacity at CBSA? No. Okay. The interview took place when? January CBSA the interview? 15th. January 15th? That's correct. Of 2024? That's correct. When were you suspended? March the 12th. Okay. How were you suspended? 
Um, I received a, or a letter. I received a letter. Do you have a letter? Copy I do. That letter. Will you I, submit that to the committee. I will. Okay. And what was the, the the crux of the allegations against you? May I read it? Yes. I I like to read stuff so that people know that I'm actually. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> to committee. I will. It okay. essentially says that um, I did not uh, adhere to the CBSA and PSPC codes of conduct for procurement. And I had something to the effect of, I'm, I'm reading this from memory, not adhered to the values and ethics of the public service. Those were the allegations. Thank you. I think that, that, will, that will suffice.